Hello Hazelgood community, my name is Venuti. Today, Vitush Ben and I are going to discuss the Year 5 science excursion to the Victorian Space Science Education Centre. We completed a range of activities including mission control, mission to Mars and to go by droid. We also got to wear spacesuits and we got a special certificate with our names and photos on them. Now, Vitush is going to explain the first activity. Hi, I'm Vitush and I'm talking about Mission Control, which was located on Earth. Mission Control was exactly like you see in the movies. We were sitting in front of multiple computers with a huge screen out the front of the room and communicated via these systems to our science team in the lab on Mars. In Mission Control, we were monitoring and controlling the Mars lab with oxygen, electricity, communication devices, storage and so much more. When there was a problem with the system, we had to solve a question about Mars. Our other mission was to tell the science team in the lab, the other Year 5 group, that they had to evacuate because of a deadly situation that occurred. It could have been a virus or an out-of-control asteroid that was about to crash into the lab. Mission Control was definitely my favourite because it was such a fun experience. In the mission to Mars, we got to go to a movie theatre and watch a simulation about sleeping for 10 months while travelling to Mars. Then we went upstairs to a scientific lab and performed lots of experiments. The experiments that w we engaged in were chemistry, hydroponics, controlling a robotic arm, analysing soil, analysing rocks and purifying water. The experiment I did was a chemistry one where we tested acid and bases. For this experiment, we used a red cabbage indicator. Technically, the cabbage wasn't red though, it was purple. To do this, you had to fill a beaker with water and put cabbage in it. Then you would stir for three minutes and take seven samples of the water. Then, I then added different substances to the samples to see how the colour of the water would change. It was interesting to compare the acid and bases on the chart. Now on to the tush. In the activity called Tickle My Droid, we used these cute little robots called spheroids and we had to code the droids to move in a specific direction. Firstly, we had to partner up and pretend to be a robot and an engineer. We gave each other commands to follow. We had to be as specific as possible. Then we were challenged to code our spheroids to make them go in a square. We also used code to change the colour of the spheroid. Lastly, we made the little spheroids drive through the landscape of Mars. My friend and I managed to weave it through the Martian canyon biome by giving the spheroids certain commands. Now back to Venuti. In summary, the Victorian Science Education Centre was intriguing and delivered an engaging space experience all about Mars. It was very realistic to work on the Mars Australia Research Station solving real space problems as if we were really on Mars. I had so much fun with all the activities, but my personal favourite was mission control because I had control over the water storage, climate control, weather conditions, and so much more. The year falls next year are so lucky to go to the Victorian Space Science Education Centre, but beware of the asteroid showers and deadly viruses. Thank you for listening. Today we are going to talk to you about the term two into school sport for year sevens and eights. The sports were netball, soccer and football. I was able to be a part of the Year 7 boys footy team. We have played two games against Mernda and Whittlesea and we won both of the games making us go through to regionals. Come on Hazel Glen, let's show them what we are made of. I was in the Year 7 girls netball team and we won three games out of four, sadly not making it to the next round. In Term 3, the sports are hockey and basketball for the year sevens and eights. The sign up information is on Compass right now if you are interested. Hi, I'm Blakely. And I'm Emily, and we're here to talk about Canberra Camp 2022. Some of our highlights were making new friendships, going to new places, and hanging out with new teachers. Our favourite places we visited were the Parliament House, the Mint, and the AIS. We just want to thank all the teachers for making this an amazing trip. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Lila and I'm Michaela, and we are a part of the Girls and Mix netball team for inter-school sports. Every Friday, all of us players come together and we play a game of netball. From this, from this experience, we have made so many new friends and been to many schools. We have learnt so many new skills, including good sportsmanship and relationships. This was so much fun, and we just want to thank Mr. Gibson, Isabel, and Taylor for taking the time to come and help us organise for us to play netball. 
Hi, my name is Nathan and this is my good friend Ben. I am one of the SRC members of the college. I am one of the sport captains here at Hazelwood. The other captains in Year 8 and I have had an opportunity to teach a Year 5 prep class as part of our Critical Connections program, which is led by the other student leaders. We, the Year 8 captains, had a great time engaging the younger year levels. We heard that the Year 5 classes loved it also. We played many games with them and this was a great experience for me and my friends. I would like to thank Mr. Saros, Mr. McCoy, as well as the Year 5 teachers to let us come and teach in your classroom. Hello, our names are Sammy, Jakai and Hunter. And we are the captains of the Hazelgren Hornets footy team. And today, we are going to tell what has happened this season. In round one, we played Mernda Primary. We defeated them by 57 points, with the final score being 59 to two. In round two, we played St. Mary's and we won by 82 points with the final score being 90 to eight. Now I'll pass it over to Sammy. In round three, we versed Whittlesey. We lost by 20 points. This was the round that the year sixes were on camp. A big shout out to everybody who did an amazing job for us filling in. In round four, was postponed, but we will play Mernda Central. We did play round five against St Joseph's and we defeated them by 196 points and the final score was 197 to one. Thank you to everybody who has been doing an amazing job in football.